Hi everyone and welcome to part two of my watercolor birthday card tutorial series. Today I'm going to be showing you two more birthday cards that you can paint for your friends and family for their birthday and I also want to remind you to check out part one if you haven't already. So for this first card you're going to be painting a series of nine watercolor balloons on a piece of uh, watercolor paper and the easiest thing to do here is to first trace out nine balloon shapes on your piece of paper very lightly with pencil and this is because if you paint them on without tracing them on first you might paint them in possibly not the most ideal position so by penciling them in first you are ensuring that they are all in the position that you want them to be in centered. You can use whatever colors you want but I chose to go with sort of a rainbow array of colors because that's typically what we associate kind of rainbow fun colors with birthdays. Then you can again trace over your birthday greeting with pencil first. I always mess up uh, the, the birthday greeting so I always tend to trace my greetings with pencil first before going over them with a permanent marker and I just chose to write happy birthday on this card and you can also add some other details to the balloons that don't have happy birthday written on them so I chose to very roughly trace some of them and paint some random dots on the others just to spruce up the card a little bit. For the second card, we're going to be painting three cupcakes across it horizontally and I think this card is absolutely adorable. It's great for young kids but also adults that really like fun cards. So again, I really recommend tracing your three cupcakes on with a pencil first just to ensure that they are perfectly centered and uh, you can basically just erase the pencil line just to leave a very light um, guide for yourself. So you're going to take brown watercolor and just trace out or paint over rather the shape of the cupcake cup and then go over it in an even lighter brown or even just water to fill in those spaces uh, in between the lines that you see me painting here. And actually I kind of did it way too dark on that first one so you'll see me lifting off some of the paint uh, shortly. Once, that, uh, once those cupcake cups have dried, you can start painting on the actual frosting portion of your cupcake. Um, and I really love painting this part because it's super fun and colorful. Uh, so basically you want to paint it in sort of a um, spiral shape, at least I think that's the easiest way to paint these cupcakes. And you can also sort of round off the edges with your uh, with your paintbrush there just to make it make the edges look a little bit more smooth and more cupcake like as you see me doing here but basically it's just this fun wave of paint that you're painting on and then filling in um, mostly so I decided to go with a sort of pinky magenta color, a blue color in the middle for the frosting, and then finally a purple color for the last cupcake. You can choose whatever color uh, scheme you would like, but again, I wanted to go with sort of a fun, festive birthday array of colors. So on the center cupcake, cupcake, sorry, I'm going to be painting a cherry. So uh, you can either choose to paint candles on your cupcakes like I'm going to be doing on the outer two cupcakes, but I wanted to vary it up a little bit and just paint a cherry on that middle one. Uh, and you can choose to do the same if you'd like. Also, while you're uh, watching this portion of my painting, I'm just going to take the time to remind you to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, because I do upload two videos every single week. Um, many of them are tutorials like this one for cards for different holidays, but I also paint landscape paintings and have sketchbook Sundays where I chat about random topics. Um, so if you enjoyed this tutorial, give this video a like and consider subscribing to my channel. Don't
don't forget to add the stem of your cherry and also the flames for the candles. And once your card has completely dried, just because you don't want to smudge it with your hand, uh, you can write in your happy birthday greeting. Again, I'm, I'm just leaving it pretty generic here and just writing happy birthday. And what you can also do just to make some of the details of your card pop a little bit more is you can outline certain aspects of the cupcakes. So I took a very thin black permanent marker but you can just use a pen if you don't have one and just outline certain portions of the cupcake cup as well as the icing and perhaps the candles or the cherry if you would like as well. Again, this part is completely optional. It's only if you want um, a little bit extra pizzazz. And that's about it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like my video, and also check out some of my previous tutorials.